Hi everyone, I'm Byung Cho at Escobio. Here I have another publication on the hair growth or scalp rejuvenation effect of uh, AS's exosome against uh, PRP and their exosomes. You can find this publication uh, on the PubMed. Uh, the title is that the effects of adipose derived stem cells and the platelet-rich plasma exosome on the inductivity of hair dermal papillary cells. This publication uh, came from uh, uh, this uh, third party group in 2021. Uh, this is the abstract of the publication. So the objective is that to compare the effect of different concentration of exosomes uh, derived from human adipose stem cells and plate-rich plasma on the proliferation, migration, and expression of uh, a few important biomarkers in human DPCs. So uh, the key result is that uh, uh, the same amount of uh, ASC exosomes uh, superior uh, to PRP exo uh, statistically significantly in terms of hair growth or scalp rejuvenation. So this is the isolation of uh, exosomes for each group. And here, they used uh, human cold blood uh, to ex extract uh, PRP and uh, exosomes. And from human adipose tissue and stem cells, uh, at passage 3, they isolated uh, exosomes by ultra uh, centrifugation. And then they compare uh, the character, indeed, uh, some uh, characterization of exosomes derived from adipose stem cells and PRP. And in panel A, B, you can see the, the electron microscope image. And they, they use the to check the, the, the size and size distribution of their exosomes, which is uh, similar between groups. And uh, they measured the existence of, of biomarkers of exosomes. And when they treated their exosomes to human dermal papilla cells, they could confirm their cell uptake in human dermal papillary cells. So uh, they can deliver uh, important messages into their uh, dermal papillary cells. And the first comparison is the cell viability. So uh, for ASC exosome and PRP exosome, they could see uh, the same pattern of the cell viability. Uh, interestingly, at 25 and 50 micrograms per ml concentration, uh, human dermal popular cells uh, and their cell viability were lower than, but at the highest concentration of 100 microns per, per ml of both exosomes, uh, the cell viability was increased to uh, one, up to 100%. So uh, there is no big difference between AS's exosome and PRP exosomes. When they try to check the potence in terms of cell proliferation, we could see a little uh, more difference between PRP exosomes and AS exosomes. 
you can see here in a dose dependent manner the cell proliferation uh, was increased in at 12 hours and 24 hours uh, however when we see the treatment group of uh, AS exosomes the increase was a little more than uh, PRP exosome as you can see here so it suggests that uh, the potential of AS exosome, exosome is a little more or uh, better than uh, PRP exosomes I think this is the most important uh, data from their publication. In, in, on on the left side, you can see the the increase of alpha smooth alpha SMA and the very scan and ALP, and these are group of AESG treated groups. And on the right side, it's about PRP exosomes. So when you compare each uh, effect of uh, alpha SMA, uh, AS exosomes uh, were much better. AS exosomes showed much more potency to increase alpha SMA, very scan, and even ALP2. So uh, this is the key data. Uh, between uh, the impact of uh, AS exosomes and uh, PRP exo. Uh, so their conclusion is that uh, the AS exo is superior to uh, PRP exo uh, for uh, hair growth. Uh, from a couple of our KOLs in the UK and in Spain, we could see uh, very nice results from uh, clinical case studies. Here, this study was done by Dr. Shami Madamni, and she developed her own protocol named DDIP. And in this case, 22 year old female uh, had, uh, who had a uh, traction alopecia as you can see here she got uh, 12 sessions of PRP over 6 months but uh, with little results almost no results here but after two sessions of TDIP protocol done by uh, Dr. Shami Madamni uh, you can see that very nice uh, hair growth and scalp rejuvenation, which means that PRP is uh, very uh, um, unpredictable or uh, uh, has uh, very low uh, potency in terms of hair growth for some uh, patients. And you can find uh, this great uh, post in uh, Dr. Inigo Felife's uh, Instagram. And uh, he, what he mentioned is that uh, you can see here the results of one, I mean, single session of our product and PRP in combination, oral dutasteride, finasteride and minoxidil after eight months. He could see a 78% increase in hair density and uh, surprisingly a, a nice reduction in white hairs. And uh, this result is uh, far behind uh, what we can expect uh, from uh, conventional treatment. So he likes uh, this uh, clinical case 
and then he posted he, this great result on his re Instagram, you can find. So we believe that uh, AS is actual and our uh, product AS plus HR product is uh, very nice option for your uh, scalp or hair treatment. Uh, thank you for your listening.